Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Uh, today I was going to show you guys how you can use effective keywords in your uh, YouTube beat uploads so that you get noticed, you get views, and uh, you know you basically get uh, higher in the search results when artists are looking for certain types of beats. All right, now for this uh, instance, I'm using a uh, beat that I just finished up. It's called Magnificent, and um, I definitely heard Kanye West on it. So in the title, I used a Kanye West type beat uh, slash instrumental, and notice that I'm using both the words beat and instrumental in the title because uh, when people are searching for uh, beats, they're also searching for instrumentals, okay? Now this is gonna tie into the tags that we're gonna be putting into this, uh, you know, this uh, YouTube beat upload. First thing I wanted to discuss was uh, the description. As you can see here, um, I basically copied and pasted the uh, the whole thing here over Kanye West type beat for slash instrumental, the name of the instrumental, and then produced by. I also put the link of where they can get the untagged version of this beat. All right, on my website, basically, I have a you know a website where I'm selling my beats, and if they want an untagged version, they can purchase it here. Um, trust me, guys, definitely do that. That got me a lot of sales. Uh, you know, put on for more beats. You know, your your website. Put on your your uh, email address. Uh, where they can subscribe to your YouTube channel, where they can follow you on Twitter, where they can follow you on Instagram. You know, use this um, this description wisely. Um, and as you can see here, I have a few emojis right next to all of this stuff to make it just look a little bit cooler, I guess you could say. Uh, and the way I did that was just by going to uh, getemoji.com uh, and then searching for these for these types of emojis, the 100 emoji, the the Twitter bird. Uh, you know, I have what is this a uh, TV for the subs uh, for the YouTube subscription. Um, an email uh, emoji for for the contact, a fire uh, you know emoji for more beats. I mean, you get the point. All right, so um, if you guys have AdSense enabled or, or set up, you know, definitely monetize your beats. Um, you know, I, I've been really lucky on, in some instances where I got over uh, almost three hundred thousand views on a, on a beat. And that brought in some money for me uh, just from YouTube views. I mean, definitely do that, guys. Don't uh, you know waste your time if you're if you're not monetizing your beats. It's definitely important to do that if you want to um, make some money off of them. So um, you know, make sure that the the monetization is definitely only on um, beats that you have the full copyright on. So uh, you know, beats with samples and stuff like that, you cannot monetize. You shouldn't monetize. Um, so I want to make that clear. And in the description, you know, I used to put this thing here called extra tags. I don't know if you, any of you did this or still do it. This actually uh, got me some deletions from YouTube. So I definitely, uh, you know, recommend not putting in extra tags. Don't put any tags in this. Use the description just for the description of the beat and where they can purchase it and where they can follow you on your uh, social media handles. Okay. Now to get to the point of uh, what we're actually doing here. Uh, is finding the right set of keyword tags uh, and, and putting them into the uh, the tag section, as you can see here, so that uh, when people are searching for Kanye West type beats, you come up higher in the search results, okay? That's the goal. Uh, you want to be in the top three pages, top four pages, you know, uh, you utilize the keyword tags wisely, all right? So, you want to think like the artist that's searching for beats. So, if they're searching for a Kanye West type beat, you know, we basically want to put in the tag section what they're searching for. And the best way to do that is by going to YouTube, okay? And I've already started this up. And then typing in Kanye West type, all right? And then hitting the space bar. And you can see all of these come up. This is basically free information, all right? You should use this. This is gold. I mean, this is like, you know, basically what people are typing in the most into YouTube. So... We want to utilize this and put those in our tags so that you get higher search results, you get uh, more views, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So the first thing that I saw here was um, type beat, right? So uh, we have Kanye West, the artist name, and then type beat. Again, don't limit yourself. You know, this is only for the video that I'm putting up here, uh, which is a Kanye West type beat. All right. This can be an Aesop Rocky type beat, you know, a Drake type beat. I mean, you name it, whatever it is, um, you know. Just search YouTube and see what people are looking for so that you can come up in the right search results, all right? And having the right type of beat, you know, match with the, with the, um, and having the right type of beat match with the artist, you know, that's also really important. You don't want to put up a, uh, a, a beat that does not sound like a Kanye West type beat, in your opinion. I mean, to the best of your ability, you know, try to find or, or, or think of who you can hear on your instrumental, all right? 
that's really important. Um, so when you're you're uploading a Kanye West type beat, you know Kanye West should like this type of beat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it's pretty simple. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a success story so you can uh, you know it, it'll maybe inspire you to 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 do this. Um, I seven months ago put up a uh, a free beat. It was a call. It's an August Alsina type instrumental, 2015 rain. And uh, as you can see here, it has uh, over 288,000 views. So my keywords, as well as my uh, you know title of this beat and and the type of beat it is, really helped it in the search results. So when you type in August Alsina type beat, I'm, I came up in the top three. If you type in August Alsina type beat 2015, which it still was seven months ago. Um, I came up in the number one spot. All right, and that got me all these views. So, and that gives you more exposure. People are going to listen to more of your beats, so on and so forth. You get more subscriptions. You get the point. Okay. All right, let's go back to the upload um, and talk about these tags. All right, so the tags that I'm putting in here um, are going to coincide with the title that I use. So I have Kanye West, the artist name, and then type beat forward slash instrumental. Okay. So when people are looking for Kanye West type beats or Kanye West type instrumentals, you know, this will help and again, coincide with the tags I'm putting in. All right. So we typed in Kanye West type beat, right? We have 2015 come up right now. It's 2016. I don't want to put that in right now. It's still early in the year. That's why this is still coming up higher in the search results than 2016. But trust me, in a few months from now, it'll change and this will be completely different. Uh, 2015 will be at the bottom of this and 2016 will be on the top. All right. So in my opinion, don't use the year prior. You know, you always want to be um, ahead of the game, if that makes sense. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in Kanye West type beat. Okay. Secondly, I will type in Kanye West type instrumental. Okay. Third, I'll type in Kanye West type beat 2016. Kanye West, if I could spell instrumental 2016. Okay. Now, um, what else can we put in here? We can put in uh, type beat by itself, type instrumental by itself, okay? Type beat 2016 and type beat uh, instrumental 2016 by itself like that. All right, I notice people are also searching for just these keyword terms because they don't know necessarily what sort of beat they're looking for. All they know is it's going to be a type of beat, all right? If that makes any sense. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, Kanye West type beat and... Um, Oh, okay, free. I mean, as you can see, that's pretty high in the search results. So people obviously always want free beats. All right. Um, if you are a YouTube uh, beat maker and you have, uh, you know, monthly free beats up there, definitely do that. That gives you a lot of subscribers. I've seen a lot of other uh, YouTuber, YouTube uh, beat makers do this. They put in, uh, you know, uh, a free, but they put in a free beat every week, every month. I mean, depending on how much time you have uh, put into this, you know. But uh, definitely have some free beats available for your um, for your potential customers. They definitely like that. Um, all right. So what else we got here? I mean, we got some uh, you know type beat Jesus piece. So now these are getting really you know uh, intricate. I mean, these are getting really really you know uh, down to the point. I mean, if you want to do that, that's cool. But I wouldn't really recommend doing that. Stick with you know like the higher search results, like type B 2016. I see here another one that I might want to use. It's a Kanye West type beat instrumental. All right. And just combining those two words. And that might actually help us because that's what we also have in the, uh, in the title. Again, we want to make sure that whatever we're putting in the, in the tag section also, um, you know, coincides with what we have in the, uh, in the title. All right. So I'm going to put that in Kanye West type beat instrumental. Okay. All right. Um, a couple of other things uh, we might want to do is uh, see if uh, people are looking for type beat and then the artist name. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this and type in type beat. All right. So people are actually looking for this too. Look, type beat Kanye West. So we're going to type that in. Okay. And I'm sure people also will look for type beat. Kanye West 2016. All right, let's take a look here. 
type beat Kanye just by itself like that. All right. And uh, all right, let's see what else comes up here. Uh, Kanye West sample type beat. You know, if you uh, made a sample type beat, definitely uh, utilize that keyword as well. Uh, but uh, mine's not really a sample beat, so I'm not going to use that. Uh, let's go ahead and also add uh, individual keywords like Kanye West. Um, what did we do? We use type beat. We use type instrumental already. A uh, few others I'd like to use is hot and new. People also use those. And then let's put the year by itself. All right, as you can see here, I don't I don't have that many keywords. All right, you don't want to overdo it too. Try to um, you know keep in mind that you want to coincide the, your keywords with what you have in your title. Okay, so I'm not going to put in Drake type beat into this, you know, because that doesn't make sense. All right, so I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, uh, you know, keywords here that I'm uh, utilizing for this uh, this beat upload. All right, 16. If you actually, um, you know, type in too many keywords, it'll tell you that. So you can't have 100 different types of keywords in here. And you don't want to, you know, you want to make it nice and neat, nice and clean and concise. Uh, that's what YouTube is looking for when they want to place you in the search results uh, is, uh, you know, organization. You, you, you want to be organized. You want to be clean and concise. OK, um, that's the best advice I can give you on this. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, if you have, um, you know, if you're doing collaborations, for example, uh, using the uh, add role features, if you have these, this is great. I think you get these at a certain amount of subscribers. Uh, but you know, if you have a music, you can, um, uh, you can, for example, add your collaborators uh, YouTube channel and your YouTube channel in there. Um, if you have the ability of uh, adding, uh, you know, th custom thumbnails, which I'm doing right here. Uh, and making it you know look uh, really appealing, then do that. If you have some graphic design skills, utilize them. Use your logo in those thumbnails. Okay, you know branding is really important, especially for us beat makers because there's so many of us. We want to stand out from the crowd, right? And what the way to do that is with uh, is with a catchy looking logo. All right. So uh, if you don't have a logo yet, you know. And, and you, you're not really <laughs> skilled with uh, with Photoshop and whatnot. Um, go and get yourself a graphic designer to uh, to make you a logo, uh, because again, you want to you want to stand out from the crowd and uh, you know um, basically brand yourself that way. All right, so that's that's really important too. I'm about ready to uh, go ahead and upload and publish this beat. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you know what to do. Put it in the comment section. Uh, do all that good stuff. Like, subscribe if you haven't yet. My name's CJ Beats. I'm out for now. Oh, one thing I meant to uh, you know tell you guys too. If um, if you've been uh, subscribed to me for a while, you know all of my tutorials are free. I don't ask for anything uh, in return really. Uh, but uh, I actually uh, set up a new website. It's called Frequency.com, and I'm going to place a link right here for you guys to check it out. It's a website where you can purchase sound loop packs, construction kits, uh, drum kits. We'll be putting uh, new products up every month, so be sure to go uh, and check it out. Uh, at the bottom of Frequency.com, you'll be able to uh, sign up for a newsletter, a monthly newsletter. So when new products are, are placed on there, you guys can go check out the videos that will tell you um, or show you how to use these and what's contained in them. All right, so there's um, there's lots of possibilities of making uh, new beats with these uh, with these products. So I'd really appreciate it if you uh, you know go check that out at least and and uh, maybe even buy something from uh, from us. And um, you know I'll be sure to uh, continuously give you guys uh, free tutorials uh, on Logic Pro X and anything that's beat related. Thanks again for watching this video. I'm out for now. Peace.